do um, uh, option B. So if you can't get the chop off, you can't get his weight to go backwards, you're going to off balance him forward, and you're still going to get the saddle though, okay? So we're here, collar sleeve, Josh starts standing, drop down to the heaver, I base check him. All right. Let's get my grips and stuff situated. This time, since I can't tripod sweep him backwards, he's doing a good job. Maybe he anchored on my collar, won't let me go. I'm gonna go back, all right? So I have to give him something to do with his hands, okay? So my right foot is gonna come under his butt. My left foot stacks. I pull and lift, lift his ankle, and I'm lifting my legs here. Bang. Now he's posting his hands on the mat. Right? I'm keeping his right foot engaged. I'm keeping my right hand engaged and I'm keeping his ankle off the mat. In the gi, you can switch to the pan grip. I highly refer this, all right? I put my left leg in, I extend it straight. If you can use your knee to feed that foot, I would do that. Once I get here, I'm pushing my right leg forward. Now this is super tight on the way down. Able grip, finish. Here, Carla Sleeve, he goes to stand. I drop to De La Hiva, I base check him. All right, he won't let me take him backwards, so I'm gonna off set him forward. Right foot comes under the butt, left foot sets, off balance. His hands are on the mat, giving me time to work. Left leg comes straight, I feed to my left hand. Right there is the clover leaf, right? Outside leg, armpit, hand underneath. Boom. Right into it. One more time. Collar sleeve. He goes to stand. I drop the De La Hiva. Base check him. Right foot comes in and I'm swinging. I like to do that swinging motion there. I'm pulling myself here. I'm balanced. Left leg comes. I feed it. Questions on this one? Try it on three, one, two. Mm -hmm.